how to inject elbows in cats and dogs. There are six approaches, three from the medial aspect and three from the lateral. For the first two approaches, the elbow should be bent approximately 90 degrees. Landmarks are the same for both species, and they include the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle, and the olecranon process. First approach. Locate the epicondyle. Flattening your fingers can aid with palpation. The injection site is distal to the epicondyle. Note the direction the humerus is pointing. The injection site is approximately halfway between these lines. The distance between the middle of the epicondyle and the joint space can be easily measured on a lateral radiograph. Add approximately 3 to 4 millimeters to this distance, then insert your needle and angle the tip towards the epicondyle. Walk the tip of the needle one millimeter at a time until it falls into the joint space. If you are in the correct window, there is nowhere else for the needle to fall into other than the joint space. For the second approach, we use both epicondyle and olecranon process to guide us. Visualize a two-dimensional plane created along these landmarks. Your needle must stay in this plane. The injection site is about two-thirds of the way towards the olecranon process. Insert the needle perpendicular to your table with the bevel pointed towards the olecranon. This will help prevent the needle catching on bone. The needle is inserted into contact with bone, then it is tilted towards the olecranon. The needle is then advanced under the humerus, aiming back towards the epicondyle. Care must be taken to stay on plane. If you are angled too much either way, you could miss the joint space. The third approach involves placing the elbow in full flexion. This creates the greatest access to the joint space, but it may not be possible in animals with severe OA. This injection typically requires a longer needle. Insert the needle just proximal to the olecranon process and advance towards the anconial process, or in other words, towards the very middle of the elbow joint. To assist with the first two approaches, you can place a folded towel under the humerus. The weight of the distal limb will then help open the joint space. 